What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Rune Lord. This game is very similar to Bejeweled. If you've ever played it, this game has 21 achievements and offers 1,000 gamer score. It's about a three to four hour completion. It is a little skill dependent. However, there are some tips and tricks that I can show you that's going to make it a little bit easier. First thing we wanna do is enter in this cheat code. I put it nice and big on the screen for you guys. It is up, up, down, down, up, up, right, left, left, right, Y. This will trigger a sound and a menu will pop up on the lower right hand corner if you typed it incorrectly. And feel free to pause the video if you need to type in the cheat. For now, we're going to go ahead and press play, press casual. Now this cheat did a couple things. First, it popped up a couple statistics on the upper left hand corner. It tells us how many spiders we've collected with the toad. It tells us how many gems we've broken and it tells us how long we've played the game. All three of these stats are related to achievements. Now, as I mentioned before, this game is very similar to Bejeweled if you've ever played it. You have to line up three crystals or gems in a row to destroy them. Every time you destroy gems, you get points, you can get combos, and eventually you can get upgrades that help you have power-ups during gameplay. Now, the cheat that we typed in enables us to press start and then go to complete gold. This will complete any level with a gold medal. We do have to complete 60 levels and get gold on all of them to be able to upgrade our character all the way. Once you complete that first level, you are going to get your first achievement or trophy. Then it's going to take us to the upgrade screen. We're going to need to buy our first upgrade. You can use your upgrade by pressing RB on a power up. To buy a power up, you need a gold coin. Again, we get those gold coins by simply completing the level with a gold medal. This is super easy because of the cheat code that we typed in. So basically what we need to do is go into all 60 levels. You're going to need to press start. You need to go down to complete gold. As you can imagine, this is a bit tedious, but it does fly by. And I'm sure we can all agree that this is going to be much easier than actually playing and getting a gold medal on all 60 levels. Next, it's going to put us into the second level. The second level has an achievement related to it. As you can see, there's a frog on the lower right hand corner. There's some flies on some of the gems. If you lower the flies enough on the level, the frog will eat them. You need to have the frog eat 72 flies to get an achievement. But we're going to go ahead and go back to this achievement after we complete the first 60 levels. I recommend just grinding it out. Again, you have to press start, go to complete gold, and that makes the level nice and easy to complete. Now, after you beat the third level, we're going to be done with all of the tutorials. It's pretty much done trying to teach us anything. However, it is going to recommend that we upgrade before we go to the next level. Just go ahead and press play. It's going to say you have coins available. Are you sure you want to continue? Press yes. Again, we're trying to grind out these 60 levels real quick. We'll come back and upgrade our character once we have all of the gold coins. Because to upgrade our character to the max, we need to have all of the gold coins available. Now you're going to get achievements at 15 levels, 30 levels, and then 60 levels. Now believe it or not, this whole process of using the cheat code to complete the first 60 levels only takes about 20 to 25 minutes. So I recommend knocking this out first. Once you complete the 60th level, we're going to get an achievement for 100 gamer score called Golem is over for completing the game. Now, after you beat the game, it's going to have the credit scene roll. We can go ahead and skip the credits. We're going to go back to the home screen. And what we need to do is go to the second level. As I mentioned before, there is an achievement specific to that level. You have to feed 72 spiders to the toad. But first, once you get back to the upgrade screen, we can go ahead and use all of our upgrades. You can go ahead and upgrade each slot multiple times. You can see that by the little tabs on it. We do get a couple achievements while upgrading. You want to make sure to use all of your coins. Again, you need to max out each power up. Each power up can be powered up four times. So you need to use four coins on each power up. Eventually, you're going to use all of your coins and you're going to unlock the fashion is your profession achievement for 100 gamer score. That is for purchasing 30 upgrades.
And now that we're all maxed out, we're going to go ahead and go back to the level selection. So press play and you want to go up one level to the second level. Now, before we start feeding the spiders to the toad, don't do anything for seven seconds. You stand still for seven seconds. You are going to get an achievement that is worth 13 gamer score. That is the end. So Sally can wait dot 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 achievement. After that, you want to press Y 10 different times to rotate the board. You get an achievement for doing that 10 different times. So after you mix it up the 10th time, your achievement or trophy will pop. That is for 10 gamer score called Will It Blend for shuffling the rune 10 times during a level. Now we can go ahead and focus on trying to feed the spiders to the toad. What we need to do is destroy the gems below the spiders so that they are parallel with the toad. If they are parallel with the toad, the toad will eat them. And we need to do that 72 times. Again, we have a tracker on the upper left hand corner. I know it's really small, but if you try to look closely, it'll show you how many spiders you have fed the toad. Once you reach 72, you get an achievement for 72 gamer score for feeding the toad 72 spiders. We also get an achievement for feeding him five spiders. Some may not like the odd gamer score in this game, but at least it's an easy completion. So if you start it, make sure you guys get it done. Okay, next I want to talk to you guys about the 15 combo achievement and the high score achievement for scoring 236,000 points. So ultimately, the end of this completion is a bit grindy because we need to destroy 20,000 gems, or they call runes in the game. Now, to be able to destroy 20,000 runes, we're actually going to have to play this game. I think you're going to actually have to play it for about an hour to an hour and a half. Now, personally, I ended up getting my 15 times combo and my high score achievement pretty luckily. Once my time expired in a match, it just had this sick combo at the end and I had both achievements pop. This may very well happen to you as well. This is because if you have any special power up tiles on the board, once the time expires, they explode. So this could cause a chain reaction and a sick combo, ending up getting you both achievements. Now, I think the best level to grind the runes or gems at the end is going to be level 56. So just keep playing level 56 over and over and eventually you get it. The other tip I have for you guys is once a level is completed, keep pressing Y to shuffle your board. For some reason, you can keep shuffling your board after a level has completed. This will help you get a high score or combo at the end of a match. So if you're having trouble getting it luckily or naturally, you can try to keep shuffling your board at the end of a match to get extra points and an extra combo. Aside from that guys, the last achievement that you're going to end up getting in this game is for the 20,000 runes or gems destroyed. And then there also is an achievement for playing for 3 hours. If you end up not having the 3 hour achievement and that's the last one you have, all you have to do is sit at the main menu. You can also track your time by the timer on the upper left hand corner of the game. The tracker also shows you how many runes you have destroyed. So you can see how close you are to the 10,000 achievement and the 20,000 achievement. But personally, the last achievement I got was for 150 gamer score. Bada bing, bada boom. 20,000 runes destroyed. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.